We welcome you to Los Angeles, an NL West matchup on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. This ball's chopped on the ground. Over to first. That's it out. The ability to feel the arm and then the speed, really impressive. Got him looking. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. That one's deep. Unbelievable! A home run! I don't believe what I just saw. I don't believe what I just saw. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Hey, like the can up there, huh? That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. And that one is out of here. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 8-3 the final in this one. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Today the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. High in the air, out to right. Veen ranging back. And puts the squeeze on that one. Hey, one pitch right here. Pitch. Come on now. In the air, right field. Veen raging back towards the wall. One away. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Way back there, and that one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. That one ripped left field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags it second, and he makes it up to third with one away. And he deals. Now this is in the air down the line. Can't get their base hit. In to score is the runner from third. It's 3-2. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Throw pulls him off the bag and he's safe. Hit slowly on the ground. Fires to second for one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got your... That's... Live from the north side of Chicago, Wrigley Field. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs. Kicks and fires. Down. 
He doesn't have a throw, and they can't get the out. Play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Mookie Betts blasts one out. His 28th home run of the season, and they grab the lead. It's 3-0. Chris Elliott steps to the plate now for the, the Dodgers. Like the top go, hitter now. in the National League entering the day. He hey, is quite an athlete. Anyway. Okay, I mean, go. you look around the other sports, time, basketball, right football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. That one hammered oh, oh, center oh, oh. field. That's back there. Unbelievable. A home run. I don't believe what I just saw. I don't believe what I just saw. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. Elliott getting ready to hit. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows. On up, oh, this one up. high and deep. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Left field. Half going back, back some more. Flashes the leather on the running catch. Home run already in this inning. They're definitely looking to do some more damage. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. That was a moonshot. His second home run of the game, and they boost their lead. It's 16 to six. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I could feel that swing from the booth. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. Got him. And one away. Well, these guys secure a winning season with the W today. And regardless of what else happens the rest of the way, you know that you're a winning ball club. So a little bit of pressure off. Put your foot on the gas and just see where you can finish from this point on. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs. And up next for Los Angeles, Curtis Elliott. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. That one ripped right center field. Back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He'll touch them all. His 72nd home run of the season. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he went up there 0-0 oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. The 0-2. And down on strikes he goes. Two away down. Two down, nobody on. Just missed. Great keen eye. One ball, two strikes. The why to kick the pitch. This ball is hammered. Deep center field. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. His 73rd home run of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 5-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot.
Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Get a good pitch right here. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Curtis Elliott. He's already homered twice, the last one back of the fifth. Just seems like he can't miss right now, seeing the baseball as well as anyone on the field. Now, I know the odds are against him, but who's going to bet against this guy right now? Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get outs one hitter at a time. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. 2 0. There's the strike. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it. Next pitch misses. Three balls and a strike. In the air, right center field. This is demolished. Way back and gone. That's his third home run of the game. And they add on. It's That's a base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. That's a double, and he's got a four-hit day. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. So, man aboard, right, here's right, Austin here Riley. Runner, runner up. takes off. That's in for a strike. Throw! Oh. Save! Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Runner in from third to extend their lead. It's 10-4. Picks himself up in RBI. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach. Well, when you win by nine runs, you have plenty of insurance runs. It's a huge confidence boost when you can just put that many runs up on the board. And I'll tell you what, the next game starter is saying, hey, I hope you guys save some runs for me. I want to get a win as well. 13-4 is your final. Yeah, yeah, yeah.